Coming out first, fighting out of the red corner, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 181 and a half pounds, currently undefeated with an amateur record of five and oh. Your challenger doing it for four, seven. Let's hear it for Trace Tuckett. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming out to the cage is the challenger in this amateur middleweight championship bout. This is Trace Tuckett. This man is 21 years old. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Like Dave said, he weighed in at 181.5 pounds. He has a perfect record of 5-0 oh, and 0. Oh. Ryan, what do we know about this guy? Where is he training out of? Well, he's training out of 4-7 in American Fork under Coach Rad Martinez. That's what you see in the back of his head right there. Yes. I mean, this guy does have a wrestling background. He's very fast. Um, as you can see, he's got a lot of knockouts. He's powerful. Um, the, guy, the guy's got it. He's And, and he's coming to, to go against the champ. Well, and, and he's definitely earned this shot. He's yes. training out there, uh, like you said, at 4-7 with some crazy tough guys, not just Rad, the coach over there. You got Brian Thompson behind him, who's fought here for Steel Fist and a lot of other shows. He's a phenomenal athlete and competitor. Um, you've got uh, Cassius Clay Collard is one of his yep. uh, training partners at times. So we know that he's good with getting into striking battles, even though he's training at a gym that is really heavy on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but those guys also know how to throw hands. Yeah. Right? Yes, they do. I mean, you look at Trace's record, he's got one submission victory. He yeah. had his first fight, his opponent couldn't answer the bell into the second round. And then, so a verbal quit, but not a tap. And then he's won decisions. He's won by strikes twice. And then uh, one arm triangle. He hits hard. Now, he did come in at 181.5. Yes. That is what? Three and a half pounds light. Yeah, I think he just walked in and didn't go away for this fight. Let's look at his opponent. All right, and out of the black corner, your current Steel Fist Fight Night amateur light middleweight champion stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighed in last night at 184 pounds, also currently undefeated with an amateur record of 3-0, and oh, doing it for Cash Valley MMA. Let's hear it for Mitch Olsen! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, out comes our champion, Mitch Olsen. He is 24 years old, stands 5 foot 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 184 pounds. He is fighting at a Cash Valley Martial Arts at a Logan, Utah. And we talked about Coach Kofi. Yep. There he is. What else do we know? Well, Coach Kofi Ajitsu over there, phenomenal coach. He's Again, he's one of those guys that has been in the game for a long time, has a wealth of knowledge, wealth of experience that he's imparting onto this younger generation of fighters. And he comes out with a, probably one of my favorite corners, the, just his enthusiasm while he's in the corner working his guys. He's got passion. Yes. Now, when we talk about the current champ, Mitch Olsen, we got to talk about his, his athletic background. He does weight training. He does wrestling. He played football. But he has big wins. He's got uh, his MMA debut back in, uh, I believe, August of 2022. He got that big KO over Daekwon Barber. Uh, his second match, he won a dominating all three rounds against a wrestler in uh, Tristan Goring. A good wrestler. Yeah, a really good wrestler. And then um, I think his third fight was against uh, the, where he secured the championship. Yes. Uh, it was an un, uh, a vacant title at the time, and uh, he was able to stop uh, John Henderson, who's a very heavy striker. Yes, yeah. I mean, both of these guys have power in their hands. This fight could stop at any point in time. Um, again, we got the battle of the O's. You yes. got a three and O versus a five and O. Someone's O's going to go. One of those O's is going to go. That's right. That's right. And, you know, this is a great test for, uh, for both Mitch parties. Olsen. Well, yeah, for both parties. But I was going to say for Mitch Olsen as a title defense against someone like Trace Tuckett, who is 100% top competitor for this fight. Yeah, it's a quality, quality opponent, quality title defense. Absolutely. It, you know, one thing I love about Steel Fist, we, we get great matchups in this show. Agreed, agreed. All right, our referee for this main event title bout is Tyler Tomlinson. 
They're talking about whether they're going to turn the overhead lights on. Yeah. The bright. Fighters got to be able to see, and that, that's a house issue. Sometimes there's a little technical difficulty, but they should have that back on before the action starts. Tyler's going to just give them some last minute instructions. Yes, yes. We had the rules meeting in the back ahead of time. That's right. They went through everything. Right now, it's more of a reminder and telling them to defend themselves at all times, keep busy, and then. Um, you know, when he's ready, we're going to see some action. Now, this is five three-minute rounds. It's up to 15 yes. minutes for this bout. They are waiting for the lights. And the crowd's getting restless. But, and the fighters have got to be getting restless. Yes, you yes. You warm up, you come out, you're just going to cool down sitting here. And that is uh, kind of difficult as a fighter to be stuck cooling down when you're ready to bang. Yes, agreed, agreed. You're building it up, you, you reach a peak as you're walking out. Or maybe not a peak, but it was building. Yeah, it's definitely building. Hang tight for just a second, technical difficulties. We'll get the lights up, no need to get on. And we got your main event coming up. Just building a little more tension. Lights coming up, and then we fight. Good attitude, I like it. Mitch trying to get everybody in. Yeah. Get <laughs> They're asking each other, are you good fighting without it? Hey, they do that ninja training with blindfolds on so they can catch, <laughs> that's right, so that's they can right. catch the arrows and the, the shurikens. The, the environment is the same for both parties. Right, yeah, no one's got an advantage. No. Maybe if everyone gets their phones out and turns on their flashlights. I just saw some things flashing. Oh. Yeah, we got some flash, we got some more light than we had before. <laughs> and we're posing. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's done that a time or two. <laughs> in the mirror. Someone spent some time in front yes, of the mirror. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Good last Showmanship. Spread. Showmanship. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get his plots, but the cameraman is not cooperating. Uh, you know, at a minimum, <laughs> Mitch Olsen is definitely entertaining people right now. Agreed, agreed. And he's keeping a good attitude about it. Definitely a good attitude about it. <laughs> Well, I would hate to be the audio video guy right now. Yeah. Well, Trace is sitting there. I mean, he's just still staying focused. He's, you know, shadow boxing. <laughs> well, I think Trace is trying to keep his. Trace is. Trace is just trying to keep his head in the in the game as a fight. And I think Mitch is just trying to keep himself entertained. I agree. Kind of a difference in mentalities that you're seeing here. Agreed. I, I see uh, personnel running around feverishly right now. It's uh, our uh, cage side manager, Misty, is uh, heading over to the commissioner and probably checking to see if they are able to fight with the dim lighting because there is spotlighting in the, uh, the all six, sorry, seven corners of this cage. So potentially they could fight with this limited lighting, yes. but it's going to be at the discretion of the commissioner. Well, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got the overhead lights. Which honestly didn't do much for the cage, I don't think. No. But it, we did a bit more for around it. It does increase visibility a little bit. But. Uh, and if it does the trick, I'm yep. down. And, and just to, to be clear, anybody that's watching, if you can see, uh, the light, it's actually not the normal lighting that uh, we use for the fights. We actually have cage lighting that sits above, directly above the cage round. Uh, and then what happened, because they're not able to get that back on for whatever technical issue, it's the actual house lights for the, the building, which is giving it enough. But we got a fight. And here we go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and, and again, right by remember, Trace. don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. 
These guys have heavy hands, and, both of them. And they're both strong as hell and very explosive. Yes. Trace landed that really nice right and then went immediately for that single leg. Decided to give up on it, but still putting the pressure and has Mitch Olsen oh, against the cage. he's got the cage. I can see it from here. Oh, yeah, he's definitely got his fingers laced through the cage. That left hand, yep. the left hand is definitely going through the cage. And he's controlling it. And, and I think Tyler just, uh, I'm not sure if Tyler even sees it. I don't know. It's, it's not there now. He's not utilizing it anymore. <laughs> it's one of those things that... If you can get away with it, I guess get away with it. Well, that's right. <laughs> uh, now you got Mitch Olsen putting a lot of good pressure against Trace. Kind of the exact opposite of what we saw just a moment ago. Well, he's got a good body lock. Ooh, I like, I like the shot off the breakaway. Yes, yes, yes. Both these guys, like you said before, both of them have heavy hands. They, both have the ability to end a fight with their fists, not just submissions. And they're both getting caught. Both of them <laughs> with big hands. I love it. Both get, caught, both get a little wobbled and then throw. Both looping right hooks and left yes. hooks. Yes, pop, pop. <laughs> Nothing that was set up, it was just wrong. Yeah, kind of yeah. like an agreed upon. <laughs> Let's just bang. Yep. This way. This way. Trace back to that single. The Got the high crotch. Yeah, looks like he's, I was going to say, watch him to whip yeah, off the cage. Yeah, I thought he was going to get it. He's got him hopping. He's got right arm, head, legs there he goes. Boom. All right, let's see where he goes I, from I here. I think he set him down a little more gently than he intended to. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's see, he's got one he's hook. Staying, staying tight. Good, good job. Climbing over. He's got one hook. Mitch being Doing smart, going tripod, trying to shake him off. Trying to pull him over the top. And, and that's a great defense against someone that's got your back when you're on your fours like that. You can get up, hit tripod position, make them heavy. Gravity works in your favor. Yeah, start shaking. You can see him grabbing that leg. He's trying to roll over with the leg. Oh, there, oh good transition, good job, Mitch Olsen. And he reversed it. Mitch is just strong. Barely, barely swinging out of that. That was great timing on Mitch's part. Oh, big hands. For the fences. Big hands. Got Trace down to a knee for a second, but now Trace is back up, throwing some hands of his own. Back and forth, these guys are throwing. I, I just said, they're exerting a lot of energy right now. These guys are throwing some leather. That is how you do a oh. main event. I think both of them are a little wobbled right now. Yeah, just a little bit. That, yes. was, that was fantastic back and forth. Mitch Olsen looked like he had Trace's number, and then all of a sudden, Trace is throwing him back just as hard, just as heavy. That was a great way to end out that round. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We were talking fight of the night, weren't we? Yes, we were. You know, up to this point, I think that uh, the ladies that came out, Kiani, uh, Benali, and uh, Ebony Knight, I, my opinion up till now has been fight of the night. This may have just switched that. If they can keep the same kind of pace going even into the finish or all the way through the five rounds, this fight's definitely got the makings of fight of the night. Yeah, it, it definitely does. I mean, this one so far, if, if we start to see another round like yes, this. Yes, absolutely. Wow. I mean, these two guys are, are laying it on the line back and forth, knocking the crap out of each other. Just abandon all caution and start throwing. That's what I saw at the end of that round, and I loved it every second of that. So Mitch looks like he's blinking a lot out of his left eye. Yeah, he's got a, a little goose egg on the uh, the outside of his eye socket. But uh, and he's throwing. I, yeah, I don't think it's slowing his hands down no, at all. No, no, oh! no. Oh, oh, yep, gotta be careful. He said it was good. He said it was yeah, good. He, he was coming. He up. said it was good. He was, he was on his way up. He wasn't on it. That no was hands close. or knee down. But yes, that was very close. So if, if you're wondering what we're talking about, you can't football kick some or soccer kick someone in the head when they're on the ground. You just can't no, do it. No. It doesn't matter if it's pro or amateur. That's it. That's illegal. Uh, but that was he illegal. Was, strike. Yeah, he was standing up. He had just just come stood off the ground. Yeah. Right when he hit it. Timing is everything. Ooh, big left by Mitch. 
Mitch has been landing big shots this round. He has, but that left hook that he just landed completely. Oh, and Trey said he got knee in the cup, which wouldn't surprise me again. Something you got to be careful of when you start throwing knees to the abdomen when you're that high on close to someone in a clinch. It's always dangerous, but uh, yeah, that big left by Mitch Olsen definitely uh, changed the trajectory for Trace. Yes, yes. In instead of continuing to stand and trade, he went for that body lock. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, these are heavy shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't want, it. Yeah, I wouldn't I want either one of these guys yeah, to I lay into me like that. No, this is a fantastic showing for both of these fighters. So they're talking to him, warning. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't meant. It wasn't meant by him. No intention. Any, yeah. yeah he was, he no was, malice. He was mean up towards the, the abdomen yeah. area. There's it's, malice in the fight. They want to beat each other. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he wasn't but trying that, to hit That him. wasn't an intentional low blow. That's just something that you know. I don't think people really consider too much when they start throwing knees to the body, uh, especially amateur because you can't knee to the head. You can only kick to the head yes, and punch yes. to the head. So when they start throwing those knees to the body, they don't consider when you're that close, there is not a lot of room to get that knee to the midsection. More than likely, you're going to hit the cut. Yeah. Well, and, and you get a free one here or there anyway. Yeah. That, ooh. Good counter with that right cross. Well, is take, putting his hands down, trying to sucker them hands out. Trace is throwing with some intent. I'd love to see him throw a jab down the middle first. And they're willing to stand and just bang. Both of these guys. <laughs> that, that's one of moral victory. You feel it on the inside when someone wobbles, but that, that was entirely because he lost his balance on that kick. Hey, hey, he wobbles. Yeah. It counts. I did something that made him wobble, so I'll that's take right. it. That's it right. counts. Ooh, what a great man event. Absolutely. These guys are just trying to knock the heads off their opponents. Well, they're both Ooh. big guys. And you can see just on that punch that Trace threw, that looping hook, just how much he's putting into it. Yes. He, he missed and just rotated all the way all through. The way Boom. Well, and, and both of them, they're standing here, both trading, both of them's got lumped up. Ooh. I definitely think Mitch is getting the edge of it here, though. Yeah, I think Mitch is in the there better position. There goes mouthpiece. Trace's mouthpiece is down. Mitch is, Mitch is landing some more shots here. And, 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 uh, I wonder, Trace kind of looked at the, uh, the ref. I wonder if he was yeah. thinking, am I getting my mouthpiece back? But, but we're in the middle of something right now. Wow. <laughs> Trace. Well, maybe he okay. Maybe he does that. I saw Gregory kick something yeah, over there. The mouthpiece is still over there. Maybe that's not Trace's. That's possible. Trace has his oh, yeah, he does. Maybe that wasn't even on mouthpiece. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Thinking it's something else. Which would explain why Tyler was trying to kick it out of the cage, but... Some sort of debris. Mitch going for every shot. <laughs> <laughs> the head movement was about the only thing keeping Trace on his feet. That was a phenomenal second round. This is what you want in a championship yes, battle. Yes. Back and forth. Now, this is a main event, ladies and gentlemen. This is a title fight, and these men are going for blood. Yes, and I definitely think Mitch turned the tide down. Yes, yes no. I, I think Mitch got down in that first round. It was tough to judge. I do think Mitch got both of them, but the first one was a lot more close than that yes. second. Yeah, I, I think that the first round, I, I would say that went either way. I, I, I won't even pick one on the first round. It was a very close fight. I think that uh, the last 30 seconds of that fight were just so engaging and entertaining yes. that I don't really know if, if I remember anyone getting a dominant performance in that fight, in that round anyway, yes. because they were just... Back and forth, back yes. and forth. It, it was like a Rocky movie. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was watching Rocky Balboa tee off on, you know, Clubber Lane. <laughs> they were just one after the other. Left hook, left hook, left hook, left hook. <laughs> you give me one, I give you one. You well, see who goes down first, right? And looking at both of them coming out for this third round. They both look good. They, they both look about equally winded. They definitely look good, but they, they I'd say they both look like they've uh, got about the same amount of gas in the tank. Agreed. I mean, they're in a fight. But... <laughs> They're doing all right. Yeah, no, they're doing great for the type of fight they've been in, too. Again, 
you've got Trace kind of swinging for the fence. And yeah. Mitch almost trying to counter. Well, Mitch is kind of stalking. Mitch yes. has kind of been stalking this whole fight. And waiting for his opening. Yes. And that head movement from Trace, like I mentioned in the second round, it's kind of been a lifesaver for him. I think Trace has been trying to figure out how to be successful with Mitch. Yeah. Well, and I think Mitch is at where he feels confident enough just to yes. swing. Yes. He, he hasn't complete. Oh, nice foot stomps. Uh huh. Mitch hasn't really figured out the head movement for those strikes. He's he's kind of throwing them and not being able to really time them and uh -huh. aim them directly uh, with the head movement that Trace has. But he's still dominating. Yes. Yes. Well, and you see Trace saying, "Okay, let's maybe try a takedown." Right. Mitch, Mitch to the T wrap. There you go. Pull him off. Keep going for the arm lock. And step over the head, and you're going to... Oh, good job, Trace. Just roll it out. Watch for Mitch to step over his head yep. and try and finish this Kimura. That's what it looks like. There it goes. <laughs> he let go. Ladies Before the ref stopped him. Yeah, but there was a tap. Yeah, there was. There was, and there was respect afterwards. Yeah, you, you didn't see Trey say, no, 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 I didn't tap. Not Just because the ref didn't see it. That was a great job. Great fight. Wow. Way to come out Way and to go, champ. defend the title. Your champion, still amateur middleweight champion, Mitch Olsen. Way to go, man. Let's take it to the cage and make this thing official. Sounds good. Well, was that worth waiting for the lights? All right, let me get both fighters to the center of the cage, please. Both fighters to the center of the cage. And don't leave, because after this, I'll tell you who got fight of the night. Your winner, one minute, 27 seconds into round number three. Tap out, Aduda Kamora. And still, still fish fight night. Light middleweight amateur champion out of the black corner. Mitch Olsen! All right, I hate to break up the bromance, but I got to interview this man. Mitch Olsen, still the middleweight champion in the amateur division, still fist fight night. How are you feeling right now, brother? I feel like a million bucks, you know. It's really nice to have 20 pounds on a man like Trace Tuckett. He doesn't make it easy for anyone. Uh, big thanks to everyone that bought tickets, everyone that came out. Pat, Cat, and Kevin and Pat, Steel Fist crew, you guys are awesome. Well, man, you put on a hell of a show. You guys beat the crap out of each other all the way up to that finish. Beautiful job with the Kimura. Did anything happen in that fight that caught you off guard? He is a strong young man. You know, I'm pretty strong too, though. I'm wondering if my talent should be moved up for 205. I like the way Patrick McKinney moved today, but I think I can take him in a super fight. I would love to see that one. Absolutely. He's a monster. I'm a monster. I say we put it together. Well, I know a guy that can try and make it happen, Pat. Um, are you going to keep coming back and defending this thing before you step up in a weight class? I like this thing a lot. Man, I, I sit pretty comfortably at around 210. I think I can do both. I would love to see you do both, man. We can't wait to see you come out and do this again, but first I'm going to let you thank whoever you got to thank. Hey, big thanks to everyone that bought tickets. My wife at home. Yo, Mac, I did it. Uh, big thanks to my sponsors, Lundell Construction Company up in Logan, uh, Live Fit Training Center in Logan, Mac Fit Personal Training, and of course, Cash Valley Martial Arts and Fitness. Last but not least, my wrestling coach, Ron John Choi of Melba High School. Rest in peace, coach. All right, man. Well, congratulations, and everyone give it up for your winner and still amateur welterweight champion, Mitch Olson. Yes. Yes? 
Hey, hold up. We're going for November 15th. Right, so, so you're down. Oh, I'm down. November, let's get it. Sign that, sign that dotted line. You good for November? Yeah, I got 17 credits next semester. Let's push it to December. What do you think? December? I'm down, man. Whenever you're ready, let's get it. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a hell of a fight. You're a monster, man. A monster. So let's get it, you're baby. You're a monster too, buddy. It's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm excited to see it. Everyone give it up for both of these champions. Make some noise for your winners. Nothing but class. So you guys want to know who won the TVs? No, if I'm going to give it to him, I'm going to give it to me, not you guys. I was working. You were playing. All right, what do you guys think? Fight of the night. My vote goes to fight number six. Ladies! Kiani Benali and Ebony Knight, please come claim your 50-inch TV for the fight of the night. Heat Wave brought to you by Steel Fist. We'll be back September 20th. Come play with us again if you would, please. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Get home safe and watch out for motorcycles.